Ryan, another tough game. Yeah, good baseball game, right? And I think uh, people here in Omaha are getting their money's worth. Um, again, when you're playing good clubs, and we knew coming into the game, this is obviously a really good team, uh, a lot of power in the lineup. Um, I thought for the most part we did a good job, but every mistake that we made, they uh, they were able to capitalize. And the biggest thing is, I don't I don't know that it was the home runs. They're 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 going to get theirs. I mean, that's the way it's been for them all year long. Uh, but it's the mistakes in front of those home runs that really cost us today. We had a hit batter, we had a walk right in front of a couple home runs, and that uh, that ended up being large. But uh, proud of the way our guys hung in there. I thought we had some opportunities early in the game, um, and, and we couldn't take advantage of them. I think we left, I don't have a box score, but I think it was 13 on base is what we left on base. Uh, so we get, we got we to gotta make some of those count. And then late, I mean, this is, this is our club, man. This is uh, we're going to fight and claw and try to find a way late. And we gave ourselves an opportunity to late. I thought Justin Quinn's at bat in the eighth was was really good. Squared the ball up and it was right at him. But uh, man, our guys kept coming. We gave ourselves a chance. So proud of the way we competed, man. Now uh, now we turn our attention to Tuesday and how we can find a way to win. Yeah, we had thirteen. You had thirteen left on. Today. That's too many. Yeah. Okay, now we'll have uh, there you go. You. Now we'll have uh, questions for the student athletes, and uh, raise your hand. We'll get a we'll get one uh, mic to you, and we'll start with Kendall. Kendall Rogers, D one baseball. Matt, just looking at Hurston Waldrop. Uh, you know, you got going late in the game once he was out, but what did you see from him that just made him so difficult to just kind of square up and get really good, you know, at bats off of him? Um. <clears throat> Well, I look back to those at bats, and I, I just look back to my approach, and I, I just didn't stick to it. That, that was really what it was. I uh, came into the game thinking I was going to spit on slider, and I think I did the exact opposite of that the entire time, which was that's on me. I got to execute better. Uh, I did not do the plan that we were going with today, and that's on me. Uh, the plan was to elevate the fastball and try and get it up and put a swing on it. And I, uh, I think my first three at bats, all I did was swing at splitter and then take fastball, which is just. Not good. Not going to cut it, and it's not good enough. Okay, next question, Mike. Mike Fan, serious. Except Matt, just with that, how difficult is it to pick up the rotation on that splitter? You can see it. You can see it. Yeah. No, it's it's a, he's he's a phenomenal pitcher. He really is. Uh, but you you can see it, and I, I should have played better. Okay. Next question. Yep, we need a question for Jake. Okay. Zach. Hey, Jack Blanchot with Foul Pole. Uh, Matt, Jake, obviously you both have had such an incredible journey getting to this point, but y'all's response late in the game, like Coach had mentioned, a testament to y'all ball club. What's the conversation like kind of leading into the next few days? Um, you know, it's a tough, resilient group. Obviously, we didn't play well enough to win tonight, but we're going to flush this one and, you know, get right back on the saddle for Tuesday. Um, we're not going to change who we are or, or who we've been the whole year. Um, who we are, it was good enough to get us here and it's good enough to win games here. So um, we're not going to change our, our plan or our approach or, or who we are. Okay, any more questions for the student-athletes? Guys, you're excused, and we'll see you in a couple days. Thank you, guys. Okay, now we'll open it up for questions for Ryan. And, oh, see, Greg, you put your hand up. I'm going to call on you. Okay, Ken. Kendall uh, Rogers, D1 Baseball. Ryan, just kind of going back to Hurston Waldrop a little bit, what was kind of your plan of attack against him offensively, and what did you kind of see from him? How did you kind of evaluate him from afar? Well, first and foremost, it's it's good. It's really good for obvious reasons. It's a four-pitch mix. Uh, he can command the zone. He's athletic. It's a quick arm. He's got deception. Um, and as Hoagie says, every once in a while you know what's coming. You're still You're still not hitting it. You're not squaring it up. So... And he's good. Uh, we knew coming in a couple things. Number one, uh, you're going to have trouble uh, putting a bunch of base hits together against that guy and scoring a bunch of runs. 
We were going to try to make him a little bit uncomfortable, whether that be with the bunt game or the run game. Um, you know, try to take certain pitches away from him at times. And, um, you know, the score got a little lopsided early, so it takes some of that out of play a little bit. And we weren't able to do that. We had some opportunities early. The first couple innings, uh, I thought our, 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 our guys had good at bats through those first couple innings. But, man, in the middle of the game there, he settled in and, man, he was really good. When you start landing the breaking ball and a change up for a called strike, it's a game changer. Uh, when he was able to do that and settle in, man, that's uh, that's as good as it gets. Okay, Jake. Jake McKeever, College Baseball Central. Coach, you know, Florida likes to hit the long ball on every pitch. It seems like they have a tendency to do that. How do you scout against a team like that? <laughs> it, it makes it tough, man. You know, if you make one little mistake, uh, our, our plan was coming in, I mean, Again, I think uh, guys that have power and teams that have power, it's like, uh, it's like in basketball when you're playing a really good scorer. They're going to get some, and that's the bottom line. That's just that's what they're going to do. That's what their offense is, is kind of based around. Um, but what we knew we needed to do was no free passes. We, could, we couldn't afford to do that, um, and we had to play clean defensively. Um, we, played, we played clean defensively for the most part, but uh, those mistakes in front of the home runs are really what hurt. Um, that's a great lineup. I mean, up and down, it's big, it's strong, it's physical, uh, with power from top to bottom. So if you make mistakes, they're, they're going to hurt you. We just can't hurt ourselves with some of those mistakes in front of home runs. Okay, next question. Yeah, Coach, were you surprised by the ruling in the eighth inning regarding Florida side, caught off guard a little bit by it? Or what, what were your thoughts about kind of the change in pitchers in that situation? Well, I was looking at some numbers, so I didn't see exactly what happened. I'm going to have to go back and look. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it is what it is and part of it. Okay. Any more questions for Ryan? We have somebody in the back here. Okay, yeah. Coach Jason Patterson, Island CWS. Just uh, you get the inside the park home run. You load the bases, the, the eighth, the ninth. Talk about the resilience of this team and and what it says about their character, the way they did battle down yeah. at the very end here. I'm glad everybody's getting to see it. I'm glad we're on this this stage. So, um, you know, those last couple innings, we gave ourselves a chance every inning. You know, Matt Swing was big, um, and and I think just as big as the swing was the way he's running around the bases, the way he hustles, the way he plays. And I think that's contagious throughout our team. I think all of them uh, have that. And then, as you said, man, we loaded them up in the uh, in the eighth and the ninth. We needed that that one that one move, that one swing, that one moment, um, and just couldn't get it. Just couldn't get it. A lot of credit to them. They did a great job. They attacked the zone all night long. Uh, obviously, that uh, this is a really talented club. So. At some point, we got to make a swing. We got to make a move and and make them pay. And leaving 13 on against that kind of team and in that moment, just won't get it done. Okay, Jake. Jake McKeever, College Baseball Central coach. You're going to have TCU. You've already seen them. How is kind of the scouting report going to stay the same, or what's going to change about it? Well, I mean, what we do is not going to change. You get to this point because of what you do uh, to get here. Uh, regardless of what they do, uh, as you said, everybody here is good. Everybody here is playing well at the right time of year. So I think more than any scouting report or matchups or anything you want to cover, uh, we got to play well. And if we play well, we're going to have a chance. And if we don't, uh, we're probably going to come up a little bit short. So we got to find a way tomorrow in our workout to uh, to get sharp and get mentally ready to go and come out and play well on Tuesday. Okay, any more questions for Ryan? If not, uh, you will be the home team Saturday, uh, Tuesday afternoon. Sounds yeah. good. Thanks, guys. Thanks.